Now, for you to know that whether it's a male or a female, uh, for you to determine, let's use this as an example. The main difference is that if you take a, a, or if you see a tortoise, how do you know that maybe this one is a male, this one is a female? It's very simple. You use the uh, their inner structure, their inner shell. You can see this one. And you see that it is a little bit um, concave. Let me put it that way. You see that it gets in. It is quite deep. As it is not flat. Yeah, let me use that word. It's not flat. It doesn't have a flat... Uh, I mean, if you look at this one, you see that it's not flat. And you see that it gets in. Yeah, it's quite concave. Yeah, but it's not flat. So the one with the flat um, inner surface or inner shell is classified to be a female tortoise but the one with this you see that it gets in this is the male this is the male tortoise this is a male let's let's look through and then assemble a group or sort the male and the female for you to see how it is so this is a male this is also a male as you can see you see that the, the, the inner surface it's not flat this is also a male it's a male you can see yeah. so it is the male if you look at this one this particular one and how it is you can see that even here it still it gets in there it's not flat so this is also a male tortoise as the west african giant tortoise now if you look at this you see that the surface is flat very flat yeah flat you see that it's not concave it is flat it means that this is a female tortoise and possibly contains some eggs yeah so this is a female tortoise the inner uh, structure is flat it's flat like this yeah it's very flat but if you take the feet the male you see that it's not the same <laughs> this is flat and this one you see how it is yeah so this is a male tortoise and this is a female tortoise so these are the differences this one is quite concave it gets in here but here it is purely or totally flat so that is how the mode of identification if you want to know that this tortoise is female or this tortoise is male these are a simple way of determining that so you have the female this one is also a female but these ones are male yeah you can see this is a male tortoise a male one yeah so that's how it is a male tortoise this is also a male but these ones they have flat inner surface so they are female tortoises and they can hatch eggs so in a nurse this is how to identify you have, you have our female tortoises here and you have our male tortoises here so in a nurse for you to know you just have to if you get some tortoise you tend to see whether if it is like this it gets concrete then it is a pig it is a male but if, if it has flat surface like this then it is a female yeah it's very simple and straight forward <laughs> I think since our viewers may want to see some motion, we want to apply some little heat, and you see that indeed they will start moving. Yeah, you see some motion.
You see that they are moving. <laughs> it's getting into the hole where they normally lay their eggs. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, now share this is how to identify your um tortoises whether it's a male or a female it's very simple welcome once again to smart agro innovations <laughs> your channel that teaches much about agriculture so that is how it is you are going to leave them as they are moving along thank you very much <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's a pretty tortoises. In fact, <laughs> it nearly went away. <laughs> so they live in this environment. And today, what we are going to do is that we are going to show you different, 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 you know, stages of growth and also sex determination. How do you determine that? This is a male or a female tortoise. Today we are going to show you. You see this one? That's the giant one, very big one. You know? You see here? They have this one too. It's also there, they live in this environment. And I see this as the ecosystem. That's how they move. You saw it moving. Yeah. So, the other time, we, um, show to you how they can move along today we've decided to group these ones for you to see how they perform some of the activities and how to determine their sex yeah 